the one hiding under your stairs. Fingers like snakes and sweaters in my hair. All nights are dark days, because night is simply a badly lit version of day. Hello everyone, and welcome to day 7 of Terrathon. Now, straight away, you see the title, you probably know what this is, and you're immediately thinking, what does this have to do with horror? Well, just put down the pitchforks and the pistols. Just wait a second, okay? So today we're talking about a series of unfortunate events, which was a series of books by the fictional author Lemony Snicket. And you're immediately thinking, what does this have to do with horror? Well, they're gothic horror books for children, of course, but they're still gothic. Gothic horror is still horror. And the books have a giant snake, murder, dark humor, suspense. It's horror, okay? Cool. Glad we sorted that out. Now give me a big hug. What am I talking about? So, A Series of Unfortunate Events is a series of 13 books centering on the Baudelaire orphans Violet, Klaus and Sonny and they're being hunted by the actor Count Olaf for their parents' fortune. Now you might say that's a gross oversimplification and do you know what I say? Fuck off. No, it really is, but there's more to it than that. So, the author was a, a man who called himself Lemony Snicket, and he's actually a character in the stories as opposed to just a narrator, but the real identity of the author was a man named Daniel Handler, an American, and the books were illustrated by a man named Brett Helquist. To further the series' connection to horror, it referenced a lot of famous horror actors, authors and works. For example, it referenced Edgar Allan Poe, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, but of course, to muddy the waters, it referenced a bunch of stuff that's completely unrelated to horror, like Charles Baudelaire, Moby Dick, Shakespeare, Monty Python of all things, and T.S. Eliot. Let us go then, you and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky like a patient, it thrives upon a table, T.S. Eliot, beautiful. As previously stated, there were 13 books released in the series, from 1999 up to 2006. Dang, that's a lot of books in a very short time period. Even I learn a lot on Terrathon. And a series of unfortunate events sold a total of at least 65 million copies, and it was sold in 41 different languages. That's pretty crazy, especially for children's books. My personal history with the series is that I started with the audiobooks narrated by Tim Curry, at least for the first couple of books, and then the author, Daniel Handler, took over in character as Lemony Snicket, and he did the audiobooks, and I made it all the way up to the Ersatz Elevator, the sixth book in the series. And then in 2004, a movie of the series came out starring Jim Carrey. And again, on a personal note, I went to see this movie in the cinema at the age of 13, and it introduced me to the actress Emily Browning, and it started a lifelong love affair with said actress. And as was often the case back then, the video game was in production at the same time as the movie somehow. And in 2004, the game, a series of unfortunate events came out which, for a game based on a movie, received surprisingly positive reviews. I mean, they were just above average, but for a movie game, that's pretty impressive. But you may know the series best of all for the TV series that launched in 2017 starring Neil Patrick Harris. This show ran for three seasons from between 2017 until 2019, and it received critical acclaim from audiences both young and old, and presumably the older audiences grew up with the books. The TV series was not cancelled, I hasten to add. It actually covered the entirety of the book saga, and Daniel Handler isn't writing anymore a series of unfortunate events. The final book in the saga was simply called The End. He threw out all the alliteration and just said, this is the end, so I don't think we're going to get any more in the saga. So it's not been completely milked to death. Now, I didn't even mention the Perilous Parlor game, a board game based on the series, the card game based on the series. It was very much a product of its time, and it had a very wide reach. Now, for me personally, who grew up with the books, who has always had an interest in horror, I feel this solidified it a little bit, because there were some horrible things going on, all guised under sarcasm, but even at a young age I could recognise that. Now, will this series be considered integral to horror history, especially for the child demographic, or will it just be a product of its time and forgotten about in about 10 years? Time will tell. See you tomorrow.